Welcome back to The Current. I'm Dilly. I'm Sophia. Let's get started. At the first Democratic debate in response to a line of questioning targeted at Clinton over her email scandal, Bernie responded with the following. And that is that the American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. Thank you. Me too. Me too. <laughs> you know? But Bernie, I would say that the American people are sick and tired of hearing about her damn ovaries. How is it that the only thing that sets you apart from Obama's administration is your fallopian tubes? I think we're also sick and tired of how you wait until public opinion solidifies before you make your damn stance on damn anything. Two weeks ago, right here in Burlington, terror struck outside the Ronald McDonald House on South Winooski and Pearl. The life-size statue of Ronald himself had his feet and head severed off. He had been vandalized before in August. Someone tried to burn his face. This time, however, paramedics pronounced the beloved clown dead at the scene. He has since been removed from the bench. Investigators say that they have come up with at least one suspect so far. Speaking of patriotic figures, let's go over to our correspondent, Callie. Trump recently was reported saying that if he were commander-in-chief during the tragedy of 9-11, he would have kept the hijackers out of the country to begin with. His tough immigration policies would have included making sure the alarm goes off at any airport if you are not dressed head to toe in an American flag, as well as immediately deporting anyone who spoke a word of anything but English, including Pig Latin and slang. He was okay with mistakenly deporting American citizens, a small price to pay for keeping the country safe. Larry David's impression of Bernie Sanders on Saturday Night Live was such a hit that Bernie himself suggested David sub for him on the campaign trail from time to time. Larry David is known for many controversial stunts on his show, Curb Your Enthusiasm, including one where he peed on a painting of Jesus, offending many Christians and right-wing Republicans. With Bernie's liberal immigration policies and plans to raise taxes on the 1%, he too offends many Christians and right-wing Republicans. In this vein, Larry would probably do fine subbing for Bernie on the campaign trail. I mean, to some far-right Republicans, a Brooklyn Jew becoming president is essentially equivalent to one peeing on the face of Jesus. Our correspondent Michelle is outside the Playboy house now giving us the latest scoop. Over to you, Michelle. Playboy magazine recently announced that there will no longer be population nude photos. The magazine's circulation has dropped from 5.6 million in the 70s to 800,000 now. Hugh Hefner's gotten soft now, and Playboy is now another sexualized form of a median. In other news, the creators and producers of the hit TV series Homeland have recently come under fire due to the inaccurate portrayal of Muslims within the show. Two of the show's own artistic designers took matters into their own hands when they decided to adorn the set of the show with subversive remarks highlighting Homeland's racist bigotry towards Middle Eastern cultures. Rumors have been stirring that the creators of Homeland and Disney Pictures will be collaborating for the next big misrepresentation of history. That's all this week for The Current. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.